Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be covering the single responsibility principle which is the first part of the solid design principles and in my opinion one of the most important principles you need to understand in order to develop clean and well understood code. So let's get started now. Before we get started, I want to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Atlantic.net Hosting. And this is an incredible hosting company, which is giving you an entire year of hosting completely for free if you sign up with the link down in the description below. And this isn't some cheapo server. This is actually an incredibly powerful server, which is more powerful than the server I even host my own website on. So you know that this is going to be powerful enough to handle any of your needs. On top of that, they have incredible reliability and redundancy on their servers, so your web page is always going to be up and always available, which is a great thing to know. On top of that, you're going to get an additional $50 of free credit if you sign up using the code KYLE, so make sure you check that out using the link down in the description below. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the video you came here for. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name's Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Now to get started, we have some code on the left hand side here for a calorie tracker. And essentially all you do is you input the maximum amount of calories you want for a given day. It has a function which is going to track your calories by adding on the calories you pass to it to your current calorie count. And if at any point you exceed your maximum calories that you passed in, it's going to log out a message that just says your max calories are exceeded. So as you can see, we set it to a maximum value of 2000. We logged out, we added 500, we added 1000, then we added 700. So of course that's going to be over our maximum of 2000 and we get our error message saying that we exceeded our maximum calories. And this code, it works fine. It's pretty small, it looks good. It doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it, but it violates the single responsibility principle. And the idea of the single responsibility principle is that all of your classes, modules, functions, anything inside of your code that can be put into a single part, for example, this calorie tracker class, it should have one single responsibility. And that means it should only ever have one reason to change. But our calorie tracker has two reasons it would ever change. The first reason, and the obvious reasons, is if we change the code for how we track our calories or how we calculate the calories that we're tracking, that is going to be needed to change inside of this class and inside this function here. But if we want to change how we notify the user when they go over, right now all we're doing is logging to the console, but if we wanted to, for example, email the user instead, we would need to also change this class. That means that this has two reasons to change. Number one, if we change how we track our calories, and number two, if we change how we log our calories. So what we want to do is actually take the logging of our calories portion out of this class and move that into something else. And in JavaScript, we have modules that we can use, and generally, you're gonna be using modules instead of classes, so we're gonna move this logging into its own module that has one responsibility, which is logging. So let's create a new class for that. We'll just create a file, which is gonna be called logger.js. And inside of here, we just wanna make an export default function. We just wanna say log message. And this is going to take in a message, and then all we wanna do is log out that message. And now we have a simple logger class, which encapsulates all of the logic of logging our calorie surplus. And we can actually just import that. So we can say import log message from logger.js. Make sure we put the dot slash at the beginning, there we go. And now we can just call that down here. We can say log message, and we just wanna pass it in the message we are logging inside this function. And now if we save it, you can see everything over here is working exactly the same. And we can even change this and we can just say max calories exceeded, add a little bit of stuff at the end, just so you know that this new code is being executed. And now we're following the single responsibility principle. As you can see, Calorie Tracker has one reason to change. The only reason we change is if we change how we're tracking our calories, whether it's how we're adding to the current calories or checking the max calories. If any of that logic changes, we change our Calorie Tracker. Then we have this logger here. And the only reason we ever change this logger is if we change how we're logging. For example, instead of doing a console log, we could just email the user instead. 
And this would change inside of our login class here, this login module. And now each one of our sections of code has one single reason to change. And this is great. It makes your code so much easier to follow and to read. And this is something that a lot of people, especially people just learning programming or even intermediate developers always mess up on. I know I'm super guilty of making the mistake of cramming so many things into one class, one file, one module, one function, and it just becomes huge. It does so many different things. And in reality, I need to break these apart into smaller functions that all do individual things. That way, when I need to change something, I only have to change one thing. For example, if I want to change the calorie tracker, I do it in one single place. If I want to change the logger, I do it in one single place. I don't have to worry about going and changing something every time I need to make a change to something else. It shouldn't have to be affected if it's not directly related to the change. For example, how I tell the user about going over their calorie surplus has nothing to do with how I track calories, so I need to separate those from each other. And that's all there is to the single responsibility principle. If you like this video, make sure to check out my other videos linked over here, and let me know if you want me to cover the other letters of the solid design principles in future videos. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.